G'day, Paul and Pauline here. Hi. With the wife of my youth. After 52 years, was it 53? 52. <laughs> 52 years <coughs> together. And we're sitting here on the couch. And in the background, you'll see some photographs of some of the things that Pauline's been up to in her life as my wife and the mother of our children. But we've been reading through the Proverbs and when you get to the end of the book of Proverbs, there's Proverbs 31, an epilogue about the wife of noble character. And I read this mostly with my wife in mind. Starting at verse 10, a wife of noble character who can find. She is worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. I do, I have full confidence in Pauline. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life, and how true that is. She's brought me good all of my life. She selects wool and flax and works with eager hands, and you'll see some of the photographs of her work in the background. She's like the merchant ships bringing her food from afar. She gets up while it is still night. She provides food for her family and portions for her female servants. Well, we haven't had any female servants, but <laughs> she's always provided food for the family. She considers a field and buys it. Out of her earnings, she plants a vineyard. She sets about her work vigorously. Her arms are strong for her tasks. She sees that her trading is profitable and her lamp does not go out at night. She's always thinking about the job list, my Pauline. Verse 19, in her hand she holds the distaff and grasps the spindle with her fingers. That's the wool machinery for, for knitting and weaving and Pauline's done a lot of that in her life. And she, lately she's been doing this crochet work to make blankets and covers for the bed. Verse 20, she opens her arms to the poor and extends her hands to the needy. And she's done a lot of that in her life. Ten years working with the homeless in Adelaide. Verse 21, when it snows, she has no fear for her household, for all of them are clothed in scarlet. And we spent three years living with the Inuit up in Canada's Arctic. Verse 22, she makes coverings for her bed. She is clothed in fine linen and purple. Her husband is respected at the city gate where he takes his seat among the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them and supplies the merchants with sashes. She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. She's got a lot of wisdom and many people, and particularly young women, come to her for wisdom. Verse 27, she watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. That's Pauline, she's always on the go, doing something. Verse 28, her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. I do, she's a wonderful woman. Verse 29, many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. Hallelujah. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. And I'm so glad my wife loves and fears the Lord. Verse 31, honour her for all that her hands have done and let her works bring her praise at the city gates. So that ends the study of the book of Proverbs with a lovely message about my beautiful wife, really. And, and the Proverbs 31 woman is, uh, is to be sought after. If uh, you're a young man looking for a wife, then look for a woman who might have some of these characters, uh, characteristics. And now you get into the Word, read the Word yourself, and may the, the word. word get into you. We'll see you later. Bye.